Hey everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the New York Times by the book tag and this tag was created by Marie over Marie Berg and I will have her channel linked in the description box below for you guys to go check her out. And this tag is I guess based off a book that she read that had like um, questions from the New York Times about books and it just sounded really fun. I saw a lot of people doing around booktube lately and I thought I would jump on in, on in and show you guys what I have for my answers with these questions. So there's a total of 10 questions for me to answer and let's just jump right in. So the first question is, what book is currently on your nightstand? And for me, that book is Legend by Marie Lou. This is the first book in the Legend trilogy and I am loving this book. It is a dystopian novel, which is one of my favorite genres of all time. And I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, everybody's saying either I heard really, really good opinions about it or really bad opinions, but mostly good opinions. So I decided to check it out for myself. And I am, again, like I said, loving it so far. I'm actually almost done with it. I only have about 100, uh, about 50 pages left. And um, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Um, so I will have a review up probably either tonight or tomorrow for you guys to get, go check out on my blog, which I'll go in. Of course, it's all it's linked in the description box below. So yes. Number two is, what was the last truly great book you read? Now, I've l read a lot of good books over the course of these past few months, but I think the last truly great book I read was kind of an obvious one, and that's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. This is the seventh book in the Harry Potter series, and I read this um, towards the end of August. I finished it um, probably about three or four days, and I absolutely loved it. I gave it a five out of five stars. Again, I re I, I actually reread this entire series if you guys are newer to my channel. I reread read the entire series over the course of two months, July and August, in preparation to read The Cursed Child. Um, and yes, so again, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Number three is, if you could meet any author or writer, dead or alive, who would it be? Now, I actually have two answers for this one, and they're both pretty obvious if you guys have been watching my channel for a while. So the first author is, of course, J.K. Rowling. Again, she wrote the Harry Potter series, my favorite series of all time. I would love to meet her. She's just an amazing, amazing author. I know she's written in some other books, which I have not read yet, but I really want to um, and I really want to check those ones out pretty soon, so, um, I would love to meet her. And the other one is the author who wrote my favorite book of all time, and he is, um, Pete Wentz, who is also the bassist and lyricist for Fall Out Boy, which is an American rock band. Um, and so he writes songs as well as his two books that he has had published over the course of the past, I think, 10 years. He wrote one back in 2005, um, which I have not read it, and then he wrote this one, which was released in 2013. This book is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you guys to go check it out. It is an adult contemporary novel, so probably 18 and older I would recommend this for. But this is my favorite book of all time. It was the first review I ever did on my blog or my channel, and yes, so this book has a very special place in my heart, and I would love to meet Pete someday. <laughs> Number four, what books might we be surprised to find on your shelves? Now, this isn't necessarily just to the books, but it's also to the movies that um, the books are based off of, and that is, I actually have a lot of Star Wars books. I am a humongous Star Wars fan. I've been a fan about for about eight years now, and for an example, for Star Wars books, I have this entire visual dictionary <laughs> about them. I actually have about three of these um, kind of same things, just a little bit like about the characters and everything. Um, yes, so I actually have a, quite a large collection of Star Wars books on my shelves. So that might be surprising to some people. Number five is how do you organize your personal library? Now, I, uh, I don't organize my library in any sort of way or special way. Um, I don't have that big of a collection of books. Um, so some of the books I have organized are my Harry Potter books. I have all six in a row, or all oh, seven in a row, excuse me. Um, so I have those organized, and I have my little Draco Malfoy Funko Pop with my wand that I got on uh, at the Wizarding World Harry Potter. So I have that organized like that. Then I also have my TBR books organized, and also my favorite books of all time organized. So that's pretty much how I have my library organized for now. Uh, number six. How, number six. How do you, what 
the vocabulary you always meant to read but haven't gotten around to yet anything you feel embarrassed about not reading yet so for the first part of the question the book I've always meant to get around to reading and I haven't yet is also one that's been going around booktube around lately and that is the book Thief by Marcus Zusak this is a historical fiction novel and I own a I was given to this for my birthday quite a few years ago, and I've been wanting to read it for a while, um, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, so probably in the next couple months I'm going to try to read this. The next book that I don't feel quite embarrassed about reading, but I've been dying to read it because it's very popular here on BookTube, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I am hopefully going to read this book after I'm done with the Legend Trilogy um, this month. And everybody says it's really good. I love the covers for this. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm hoping to get to this probably ne this month or even next month because it just sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, number seven. Uh, what book did you feel you were supposed to like but didn't like? And also um, the last book you didn't finish. So the book I would that I think is very overhyped and um, a lot of people love the series but also I've seen quite a few people who haven't liked the series and that is uh, The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I read this back in like February and I did not like it at all. I do have a review up on my channel so I will link to that in the description box below um, if you guys want to check, go check it out. I didn't like it. Um, don't plan on continuing on with the series anytime soon. If I ever do it's going to be in a very long time because I really did not like the first book. And the last book I DNF'd, which is one I've talked about on my channel too, is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This was the Cruise Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of June, I believe. Um, I got 36 pages in and didn't like it, so I put it down and I think I'm never going to pick it up again. Um, the writing style was great, but I just did not enjoy the plot line as much as I thought I would. So that was the last book I DNF'd. Uh, number 8. What kind of stories are you drawn to, and what kind of stories are you do you stay clear of? Do you not read? So I read pretty much everything. Um, there's only like one genre I don't read a whole lot of. Um, so my favorite genre of all time is dystopian. I love you know Divergent, The Hunger Games, pretty much anything dystopian that I have read. Um, I really liked. I don't think I've read a dystopian that I haven't liked. Um, I also love fantasy and science fiction. Um, I'm trying to try to read more of those genres soon. Um, and the genre I t tend to stay clear of is either nonfiction or erotica, because, of course, nonfiction is not as interesting as fiction is, and erotica, that's just not my thing. I don't really enjoy that. So those are the genres I tend to stay clear of. Number nine is, if you could require the president to me to read any book, what would it be? So the first book I have, I have three. Um, is Divergent by Veronica Roth. This is a, another, again, dystopian novel. Um, and I think I would require the president to read this because it's kind of what this could happen to our society, to be honest. Um, and I think this is the more realistic out of the di dystopian um, book series. And, you know, our society could hap could change into this. And that's the great thing about dystopians is this is what our society could t come to in, in the future. Um... The other two I have are, of course, Grey by Pete Wentz, because it's my favorite book of all time. And the other one is, of course, Harry Potter, because everybody's going to read Harry Potter. And the last question for this tag, guys, is what book are you planning on reading next? Now, this one goes along with the first book I talked about, and that is Prodigy by Marie Lu, the second book in the Legend Trilogy. Uh, I'm really excited to read this, and Champion, which is the last book, because this is, again, I'm really, really liking this series. Um, and um, I'm hoping to get this probably tonight or tomorrow, um, depending on when I finish Legend. And yeah, so that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, as always. And as always, again, I will have all my social media links in the description box below. Also, I will have all the reviews that I talked about in, my, in the description box below, as always. You guys can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads. And I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!